Hi YouTube, welcome back to the Mighty Mouse channel. Today I'm gonna test out a product because I've got a lot of pencils that are very soft from color pencils to watercolor pencils. And what I currently have breaks the pencil lead all the time. So frequently that it's getting too expensive to run this little thing. And I'm not sure if you can see inside there, but it's just the one that has a single blade, rotating blade, like the kind you would use uh, in a regular pencil handheld sharpener. So today I ordered this off Amazon because it said that it was good for color pencils. Now this thing has a rotating spiral uh, sharpener bit and uh, runs on four AA, so it's comparably about the same size. And I got a lot of high hopes in this thing. It didn't cost much. I mean, I was really surprised. I think it's a, uh, if this works out, it's going to be the best bang for the buck. So let's test this thing out. Here we go. Okay, so I know that it runs on four AA batteries and I'm all set for that. This is, uh, they came in different colors. Uh, I chose the blue. Uh, would have chosen any color that was cheaper. This one was cheaper. <laughs> so this is from Power Me, and this band right here is what they change colors in. So it came in a very a, a sundry of colors. I kind of like the blue, regardless. And as I take the cover off, you can't see anything. But when it rotates, you'll see the blade come around. I'll do that in just a second. Now, the other one is very difficult to operate the battery compartment. This one looks like it's built a whole lot better than the other one. <sighs> the other one was uh, 4A. And at the time, this was new to the field, really good. And I always trusted the single blade sharpeners, but they tend to chew things up. And when you're a kid in school, the pencil sharpener on the wall has this same type of spiral. So it says negative. Yep, double A's. I didn't even check to see what it takes. Uh, positive, positive, and negative. Am I positive? Yes. So these batteries that I put in, in, in case you were asking about that, uh, best bang for your buck when it comes to alkaline and uh, i really like these all max they're really a good price i've had a lot of success with these not a single one of these has ever leaked whereas the big name brands uh, uh i won't say which ones because i don't want to talk negative about them you probably love them and have not had the same troubles i had depends on the application how long they sit uh, idle all right yeah yeah, that goes down really well. Okay, let's try a pencil. Now these watercolor pencils, these are the cheap brand, but they're very soft. And uh, when you try to sharpen these, it's very easy to break this lead. Here we go, first time in. Ooh, that's quiet. Oh my, would you look at that point? Wow, that holds a lot of promise for any artist. Now you can see the blade in there. Wow, this is great. Let's try another one. Let's go with some expensive ones. Derwent. Derwent that away. <laughs> Get it? Okay, so here's a color that I use quite frequently. And. This one here looks worn down. We'll try the worn down one. Oh, it, it, you don't have to push at all. It just almost instantly gives you a really good point. I need to try one of these from scratch. Wow. I am extremely pleased because this, I can't tell you how frustrating it is to sharpen these kind of things and then have the machine just break them all the time. All right, now I'm going to the to the main craft in my, well, I'm gonna leave these out and give them all a good point. All right, 
This is just a uh, my travel stash. Hmm, where to begin? Let's try this one here. As you can tell, uh, I either use this blue a lot or it breaks a lot. And you can see the way that it, the paper, the wood is broken down. It, instead of being up here like this, it's broken down there. It's always a sign to me that it's it's going to, here we go, it's going to break. Oh, that doesn't feel like it's catching at all. Look at that point. Wow. Oh, I just want to sit here and do this all day. Oh, look at that. That's beautiful. Let's try. I don't know if I can get this down and far enough. Nope. I had uh, done a previous video on how to sharpen something that's bigger than, because this, this won't go in there. So you just shave it down. And if you're worried about breaking the lead, then you put the shave down piece in here and you can safely give it a point without breaking it. Oh, I know. Let's do this. Okay, I opened up my reserve supply and I got a fresh pencil. Now, I like to be able to read the color as long as I can, and the word white is on this end. So I n almost never sharpen both ends. I only work my way towards that, that word color there. So this one here is not been touched. Let's see how this thing does with this. Look at that. It bogged down a little bit. Had a lot of work there. Look at that. That's just mind-boggling. Of course, now I can take this out of my stash and put it in here. So, let's test it on the most difficult case, which would be a standard number two wood pencil. I'm going to go with the name brand here, Ticonderoga. My favorite. And this is the grand finale, standard number two. Oh, no, no, this is extra hard. That's even better. Doing good. Almost there. Look at all that. Look at all that uh, shavings there. They look so fine. Okay, kind of just stopped sharpening at some point. You could feel it was done, but uh, it gave me a really good point. I am extremely pleased. Hey, if you're looking for a pencil sharpener, this one by Power Me. Now, this, there's probably a whole bunch of these out there. Um, this one here happened to be within a price range I was happy to pay for. And uh, it has the circling spiral. I'll turn it on for you again so you can see it. Actually, let me open this up. I'm actually glad I <clears throat> opened it up because I learned something new about this thing that I didn't know. was not aware that the shavings here that have uh this protect i don't know if this is a protection or just a holding so that when i open this i didn't have shavings going everywhere like my other one has nothing to stop it from falling out so it's it's kind of like just a, a little delivery window here and boy that just works really well in my opinion now you should not be able to turn this on while it's open true so this pin right here more than likely turns on a switch I'm going to try to stop it so that the, uh, there we go. Now we can have a close look. Let me get some light on the subject. <clears throat> okay, now that we can see what we're talking about here, you can see these grooves. This is how this thing works. It, it doesn't just rotate this in this motion. It also goes in this motion like that. <clears throat> so that gives it a, <laughs> they said that that because of the way that this thing rotates, it gives it a better, cleaner uh, sharpen. And I agree with it. It does a really good job because of that. And now that I got some light on it, let's see if you can see it going around. Yeah, you see that? That's awesome. Oh, I give this thing five stars. I'm really, really happy with it. I learned a lot. I hope you did as well. I hope you enjoy this video. Give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you can. I appreciate it. it. helps the channel keep going. 
little bit of incentive there make goes a long way. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Oh,